Number 8. Juan Carlos Cruz the Santa Monica Police Department in California was informed in the spring of 2010 that a local homeless man had been solicited to kill someone by former Food Network chef Juan Carlos Cruz. A week-long undercover operation was subsequently launched, which led to the arrest of 48-year-old Cruz on May the 13th. Investigators discovered that the Dominican-American television chef had attempted to orchestrate a murder-for-hire plot that targeted his wife, Jennifer Campbell. Cruz allegedly approached a total of three homeless individuals with the sinister proposition, requesting that they either slit Campbell's throat or fatally strangle her in exchange for $1,000. Further reports detailed how he'd even given one of the men the security code to his apartment in order to facilitate carrying out the murder. Following his arrest, Cruz's bail was set at $5 million, although it was later lowered to $2 million. During the course of the police's investigation into the matter, detectives uncovered Cruz's motivation for wanting to have his wife killed. The couple had been unable to bear a child due to fertility issues and had fruitlessly spent around $200,000 on medical treatments. Campbell had consequently fallen into a deep depression and Cruz allegedly felt that killing her would have been a merciful way of ending the emotional suffering she'd been experiencing. In December of 2010, the chef pleaded no contest to a charge of murder for hire. As part of a plea agreement, he was ordered to pay $1,870 in restitution and serve nine years in federal prison. Number seven, John Croucher. On October the 8th of 2018, the Holy Trinity Church congregation went to the Crew Arms pub in the Northamptonshire village of Hinton in the Hedges for a harvest dinner. Following the meal during which 32 people had reportedly eaten the restaurant's shepherd's pie, an elderly parishioner named Elizabeth Neumann became violently ill. The 92-year-old ultimately died of gastrointestinal bleeding induced by repeated vomiting. The 31 others who had the shepherd's pie suffered unpleasant bouts of food poisoning themselves. An investigation into the incident led the authorities to determine that the pub's head chef, John Croucher, hadn't properly prepared the minced meat used in the shepherd's pie that evening. Court documents detailed how the 40-year-old had placed the meat in the fridge overnight after not cooking it adequately. He then cooked it again the following day and neglected to take its temperature before serving it to the churchgoers. The chef was arrested and charged with contravening food regulations and following a trial at Reading Crown Court was given a four-month suspended jail sentence. Croucher publicly expressed his remorse in the wake of his sentencing, claiming that the horrible circumstance had made him a better chef. Number 6. Cat Cora Shortly after 6 p.m. on June the 17th of 2012, police in Santa Barbara, California, were called to the scene of a minor traffic accident that had resulted from a female motorist rear-ending another vehicle. Upon their arrival, the officers identified the driver responsible for the crash as celebrity chef Kat Cora. She had previously been featured as an Iron Chef on the show Iron Chef America and as a co-host of the reality competition series Around the World in 80 Plates. Law enforcement quickly became suspicious that Cora might have been under the influence of alcohol at the time of the collision. After questioning the chef, she admitted to having had three beers at the Cold Spring Tavern earlier that night. Cora subsequently submitted to a breathalyzer test which indicated that her blood alcohol content was 0.20, more than twice the legal driving limit. The officers placed her under arrest and she was taken to Santa Barbara's Sobering House, a facility where cooperative individuals arrested for a DUI are allowed to sober up before being released. Cora ultimately pleaded no contest to a charge of driving under the influence and was consequently sentenced to 120 days in jail, followed by three years of probation. Number 5. Sarah Horowitz Prominent Texas chef Sarah Horowitz, who appeared on the reality television series Hell's Kitchen and Best in Smoke, was taken into police custody on April the 10th of 2013, according to an arrest affidavit. Horowitz and her boyfriend, El Paso weatherman Mark Mathis, had just returned home from a trip to Austin when they became embroiled in a heated argument. As tensions escalated, Horowitz allegedly grabbed a cooler full of food and dumped its contents all over the inside of their vehicle. As was later reported to investigators, the TV chef then unleashed a barrage of punches and kicks on Mathis, who consequently sustained several cuts to his face and bruising behind his ear. Horowitz, whom several media outlets identified as singer Justin Bieber's personal chef, was initially arrested in connection to the domestic violence incident. However, 
Her boyfriend ultimately declined to press charges and she was released. Number 4. Michael Chiarello In the early morning hours of November the 2nd of 2016, celebrity chef Michael Chiarello was pulled over by law enforcement in Napa County, California. The television host and cookbook author had been driving his Porsche home from Bottego Ristorante, one of his two California restaurants. When the traffic stop was initiated, Chiarello was reportedly arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence and possession of a controlled substance. Before being released on $5,000 bail a few hours later, a statement was subsequently released on Chiarello's behalf in which he announced his intentions to vigorously challenge the misdemeanor charges being levied against him. Eight months earlier, in March of 2016, a pair of lawsuits had been filed against the chef and his restaurant group, Grupo Chiarello, alleging harassment and labor law violations. The lawsuits, which were litigated by two of Chiarello's former employees, accused him of fostering a hostile and abusive environment. In his restaurants, the harassment lawsuit had been settled for an undisclosed amount only two days prior to Chiarello's DUI arrest. Number 3. Carol Kaczynski Gluten-free chef Carol Kaczynski first rose to prominence in 2009 when she began doing cooking segments on the WFLA Tampa Bay's daytime television show. A few years later, Kaczynski launched the national lifestyle magazine Simply Gluten-Free, which compiled pieces by gluten and allergen-free writers as well as medical doctors. In 2018, the nationally syndicated TV chef furthered her lifestyle brand with a line of gluten-free mineral makeup called Bute Minerals. Kaczynski's prominence turned to controversy in February of 2022 when she and her partner, John Hennigan, were arrested at their home in Dunedin, Florida. It subsequently emerged that the couple was being charged in connection to their alleged involvement in the attack on the U.S. Capitol on January the 6th of 2021. Court records indicated that the FBI had found GPS tracking data from a mobile device that placed Kaczynski and Hennigan in the Capitol building on the day of the insurrection. The couple was also reportedly captured on surveillance video walking through the Capitol's hallways and in the rotunda. Upon being taken into custody, they were charged with four federal offenses, including entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds. In the immediate aftermath of Kaczynski's arrest, all references to her were removed from the Simply Gluten-Free website. Today's topic was requested by Instagram follower Jailarina Jones. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Number 2. Carmelo Chiaramonte in September of 2019, the BBC reported that Italian law enforcement officials had arrested Sicilian TV chef Carmelo Chiaramonte on suspicion of drug trafficking. According to local newspaper La Sicilia, the police had found two six and a half foot tall marijuana plants and more than a pound of Indian hemp at the chef's Trescatani residence. They also reportedly seized cannabis infused wine, olives, coffee, and tuna from the home. Although the authorities accused 50-year-old Chiara Monte of possessing the substances with the intent of distributing them, he initially disputed his charges. He claimed to have actually been using the drugs in experiments as part of an effort to research new flavors. It was later reported that Chiara Monte, who described himself as an agro-food consultant for third millennium cuisine, had been released from custody pending the commencement of his criminal trial. Number 1. Sama Melangelis New York restaurateur Sama Melangelis was the owner and co-founder of two popular raw vegan food establishments, one of which was called Pure Food and Wine and the other One Lucky Duck. Located in Manhattan's Gramercy Park neighborhood, the former had been twice listed on New York Magazine's list of top 100 restaurants. Melangelis amassed a considerable social media following as her business ventures continued to grow and her burgeoning success led to her making multiple television appearances. She also attracted the attention of celebrity customers such as Tom Brady and Chelsea Clinton. In January of 2015, Mel Gaines's business became the focus of controversy when her restaurant staff walked out en masse after not being paid a month's worth of wages. It marked the second time within a year that wages had been withheld from the staff, and due to a lack of active workers, both restaurants had to be temporarily closed. 
Although they eventually reopened in April of 2015, their staff walked out yet again due to unpaid wages and the establishments were then permanently shut down. It subsequently emerged that the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office had been investigating Mel Gaines on suspicion of stealing more than $2 million from her business's investors. She and her husband, Anthony Strangis, became fugitives from justice in May of 2015. The couple were eventually tracked down to a hotel in Sevierville, Tennessee, where they were taken into police custody on fraud and theft charges. In the wake of their arrests, it was reported that Mel Gaines had defrauded her investors and refused to pay her employees at the behest of her husband. Strangers had reportedly convinced her that he'd make her dog immortal if she did as he requested. The New York City chef ultimately pleaded guilty to charges of grand larceny, criminal tax fraud, scheme to defraud and violation of labor laws and was consequently jailed for about four months. She filed for divorce from Strangers in May of 2018. The unusual scandal associated with Mel Gaines's case was documented in a Netflix series titled Bad Vegan, Fame, Fraud, Fugitives, which was released in March of 2022. Thanks for watching. Would you rather eat fast food for every meal for a week or go without showering for a month? Let us know in the comments section below.